May the Lord bless and keep you. Let me say something. I forget exactly when, but around that time period, I was doing the wrong things I thought that I had to do those wrong things to make ends meet. So when I came to God, I knew that what I was doing was wrong, but I thought to myself, if I don't do these wrong things if I don't continue being the bad way that I am how am I going to make ends meet how will I make a living And at that time, I really didn't want to do those bad things. I really wanted to stop then, but I was afraid that if I started to do what God wanted me to do, I was afraid that I would not be able to function as well as I was back then. So it took me a while to stop everything. And yes, when I stopped everything, <laughs> I could not do as much as I was doing back then. I could not be the way that I was back then. And I actually lost quite a bit. I lost quite a bit. But at the same time, I learned to trust in God. And when I think about it now, I was doing those bad things because I had no trust in God. I had no faith in God. I believed that I had to do those bad things to survive in life. To be able to take care of myself. So when I stopped doing those bad things, I learned to trust in God much more. Let me say this. <laughs> Even though I did so many bad things back when I was in sin, I would always be afraid that I would die in sin and go to hell afterward. I was so afraid of that. So for some dumb reason, <laughs> I would think that if I am going to die, it is when I go to sleep. So what I would do I would repent before going to sleep. <laughs> Which is so silly because I could have died while I was awake. But what I would do, I would sin all day long. And then before <laughs> I went to sleep, I would repent of my sins and everything like that, knowing that the following day or that weekend, I was going to do the same thing all over again. <sighs> when I 
What is your point, Kevin? You may be in a very hard time now. You may believe or you may know that, hey, what I am doing is wrong, but in order to survive in life, I have to do these wrong things. And you may even hate doing those wrong things, but you believe that by doing these wrong things, this is the only way that you can make ends meet, that you can make a living. When you do that, you are risking your eternity. When you die, you are either going to heaven or hell. You can't come to God after you die and say, hey, I had to do these bad things because, hey, how could I pay my rent? How could I feed my family or how could I do these things if I did not do those bad things? you are going to be cast into hell. So what your problem is, and what my problem was, you don't trust in God. That is the issue. So all you have to do is begin to trust in God. I know that for many people, or some people, perhaps you like to be in control of things you want to have like an idea or a plan of how things are going to work out like you don't want to be in the dark with anything so the fact that you have to trust in God and not have reassurance that something is going to happen that makes you afraid and when you get into fear it is going to make you do some really foolish things so fear in many cases will make you not trust in God and in some cases you are going to sin because you believe that by doing that sin it is going to get you out of trouble whatever situation that you are in now if you are doing wrong, no matter the cost, you have to stop it. Well, Kevin, if I begin to do right, I can't pay my rent or my bills. But if you die doing that wrong, you are going to hell. So you rather go to hell for bills? to pay your bills? You rather stay in hell for an eternity to pay some bills? To pay your cell phone off? To get something to eat? When you go to hell, <laughs> you are there forever. Let me say this. I know some of us have heard about that Texas shooting in that small church or something like that. Do you believe that those people that died knew that they were going to die that day? Do you believe that they knew that they were going to die that day? 
Of course not. If they would have known that they were going to die that day, they would not have shown up to church. I know for myself, I would not have went. My point is, we can die at any time. Why play games? Why? You don't know when you are going to die. So, those foolish, sinful things that you are doing now, is it worth it? Yes, you may be able to pay your rent or your mortgage. Yes, you may be able to buy new clothes and new cars. But is it worth it? I know for myself, yes, I was able to do much more things for myself back then, but it was not worth it. Not worth my soul. Because how can you equate nice things, nice clothes, nice shoes, so on and so on, with being in hell forever. Are you serious? So I had to stop what I was doing to get right with God. This is what you need to do as well. Stop playing around. Why play around? Whatever situation that you are in now, no matter how afraid that you are now saying if you were to stop the bad things that you are doing now that you won't be able to help yourself, look, do whatever you have to to get out of sin. Because I'd rather be poor all my life than die and go to heaven other than being able to pay my bills or to be rich all my life, then die, then go to hell. Think about what is really important to you. Your life on earth, which is temporary, or your life in the afterlife, which is eternal. <laughs> so why in the world would you do things to send yourself to hell? Crazy. Let me stop here. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.